Algebra 1, Exponents and Powers, Reading and Writing Powers. For this example, we are going to look at base values and their exponential values and how to read and write them from a verbal cue to their mathematical expression. So here we have several examples, beginning with the word cue, and then we will explain how to put that into a mathematical expression. In this case, we begin with our first example, 10 to the first power. 10 is what is called our base, and the power is our exponent. So our example here is 10 to the first power. So in this case, we are going to multiply 110, and 110 would give us a value of 10. For our second example, 4 to the second power, our base number is 4 and our exponent is 2, the second power. And this tells us that we are going to multiply two fours together, 4 times 4, based on that exponent. When you have 4 to the second power, or any number to the second power, that is the same as saying squared. So 4 squared would also be represented as 4 to the second power, or 4 to the second exponent. And this would give us also a value of 4 times 4. Our next example is 5 to the third power. 5 to the third is 5 as the base and 3 as the exponent, giving us a value expression of 5 times 5 times 5. The third power can also be stated as cubed, so 5 cubed would also be represented as 5 to the third power, 5 being the base, 3 being the exponent, and giving us an expression of 5 times 5 times 5. 7 to the 6th power, 7 is our base, 6 is our exponent, and we will multiply 6 7s, 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7 times 7. Our last example has two variables, x as the base and the n as the power. So x to the nth power would be x to the exponent n. In this case, we aren't given a value for the n. So this would be represented by x times x times x, and then we would place the dots here to represent the fact that we are going to add as many x's to this expression as necessary to represent that value n. So x times x times x, and continue that until you have satisfied the value of n. So this is exponents and powers, reading and writing powers, taking verbal expressions, and making the mathematical expression from them.